Again, in this video, I'm going to blame Rona. I am not responsible for my actions. This was all her fault. <laughs> Hi, lovely people. How are you? Make sure you comment down below. Let me know how your day is going. Welcome back to our family. So if you read from the title, I did a little damage control. I'm blaming Rona. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. So I went a little cray cray and let me show you what I did. Okay, let me see if I can pick this all the way up. Let me see without dropping it. <laughs> I know, and there's more coming. So if you wanna see what Rona made me buy, then keep on watching. All right, the first thing I'm going to show you is my Ulta haul. This is what happens when you're on lockdown. I live in New Jersey and we're in lockdown. My husband's laid off from work. The kids are home. I have anxiety, so I don't sleep too much. So this is what happens at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> when you think you're just gonna window shop, but then you start purchasing stuff. So I only got a couple things from here, I think. I don't really remember, but let's see. All right. So that's what she looks like. All right. The first thing I picked out was these pads because I need them. These are um, the Ulta Beauty. The, there are 80 cotton rounds in here. And I like these for my toner. I just take my little toner and ch -ch -ch on the cotton round. So I enjoy these. Then I got these. I've never tried these before. This is from Alme. Let me take it out. And this is supposed to be like for your eyes, for like waterproof makeup and stuff to help you take your makeup off. Let me open it up and see. All right. So I'm just going to take one out. So they're a little damp. I thought they would be. Yeah, they really don't have a scent. I don't even know why I'm showing you that. I thought it would be a little bit more damper, but I can definitely feel the oil in here, which is good. So that'll help take off uh, the waterproof makeup, like your mascara and stuff. Moving on. Okay, the next thing I got is from ColourPop. This is the Pretty Fresh Concealer. This is the hydrating one and Fair. 10 neutral. I've never tried, I well, I have tried the concealers when they first came out, but I haven't tried the new hydrating one. So, oh, that's that awful light. The only thing I hate, like when you do stuff online, when you have to get like foundation or concealer, stuff like that, you really can't tell by the shade. So I'm always a neutral. I know, okay, this isn't bad. So I picked the neutral out. That is the shade right there. So this is a good match. Okay. Like it, like it. All right. The next thing is I love this concealer from the drugstore. This is by Maybelline. This is the uh, Insta Age Rewind. I always get the lightest shade. So this is the Cool Ivory. This is the O95. And what I use this for is just when I just want to brighten up. So when I don't want to cover anything up because it's not like full coverage, but it does really brighten up your underlie and, and underlie your under eyes. And what I like about this because it's not full coverage, it's not so thick and it um, doesn't go into my like fine lines, my wrinkles. So like that. All right, then I got these. I've, I, you guys know I always talk about color under in my wear line. Like I have blue in my wear line right now. So my favorite eyeliners to put in your wear line are from NYX. I really, really like NYX. So I have this green one right here. Okay, let's see if I can read the color. Okay, I took the plastic off because I couldn't read what the colors were. So, I don't know which one I was showing you. I think the green one, but I could be wrong. So, we got this pretty green one, and this is in the shade Esmeralda. And look at that. That is so pretty. That is the shade right there. And like I said, these are perfect to put in your waterline. Then we have this purple one, and this is Pretty Violet. That looks really, really pretty. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's really, really pretty. And then this one is called Azure. Look at that. I'm really excited for this one. Oh, my God. That is so pretty. 
even when I just go in with a neutral look or whatever, like right now I have like pink and brown and like a light orange in my eyes and I went in with a blue eyeliner. It just brightens up your eyes. So these are my three favorite colors to use in my waterline. So I'm excited to have that. And then I got some brow products. NYX again is what I use every day when I put on my makeup to do my eyebrows. So I usually always go in with the micro brow pencil. So that's what I like to use. And I got, I always get black because I use black for like the um, outer edge. And then I use blonde or ash brown and I go in the front just to lighten them up. And then I'll go over like my whole eye like really quick and like blend it so it doesn't look so dark. So I just got some of these, you know, that way I don't run out. And then I've never tried this. So this is from NYX. This is the full and fluff. So this right here is a pomade, but in a eye pencil. And then you have like a brush. So again, I got black and blonde to try to see what I think of the pomade. So that's everything that I got in for Ulta. I didn't do too bad with Ulta. So this is from Cara Beauty. And I see this on somebody's channel, I don't remember, the eyeshadows. And they gave it a really good review. I wanna say Tattoo Mama. And so I picked it up as well. I'm like, well, I trust her opinion. So I got that. All right, so and then I got a few more things. So they were having a sale on beauty blenders. These were regularly, let me look, let me look. These are regularly $4.99, so $5 a piece, and I got them on sale for $2.99. So I'm like, why not? So I got a red one, just like a regular like beauty blender style, and then this one here that's like on an angle, because that's what I like to use to like fake contour my um, eyes, I mean my face. So let me open one up and just see how like soft it is. Because depending on the softness or hardness, it does matter. All right, so let's see. Oh, okay, they're pretty soft. That actually feels really, really good. I wonder if the sale is still on. And they have like all different colors. Um, and I only picked these two because I didn't know how I would like them. But they feel really, really good. So I might grab a few more actually. All right, so I have that. Oh, excuse me. And then they must have sent me this because I don't remember picking this out. Lipstick. And I was going to say from Kara's Beauty, but everything in here is from Kara's Beauty. This is in the shade Boss. Yes. Okay, so this looks like a metallic shade. So let's see. Oh, I love these type of applicators. Oh, that's really pretty. That is really pretty. All right, I'm glad to get that. And then these are the three eyeshadow palettes. So they have like the 420 themed. So this says Girl Scouts. This says Orange Pop. And this says Purple Haze. And these are all names of 420 products. All right, I'm going to cut the plastic off and that way I can show you. All right, so the first one is called Girl Scouts. And it has a little sleeve what it looks like and then on the back tells you all the names oh my god so pretty let me take the little plastic piece off so you have a mirror and I love when it's cardboard and it and it um, bends back and look at the colors <gasps> they're really really pretty okay let's do a couple swatches I'm only gonna swatch a couple because there's two more palettes that's really really pretty Yes, look at that. That's pretty. Let me go in with that blue again and see if it's buildable. Oh yeah, look at that. That's really, really pretty. Look at that shimmer. I am really excited. I've never tried anything from this brand. I've never even heard of this brand. So thank you so much, Tattooed Mama, for making this video and show me that. All right, let's go in with the Purple Haze. Okay, that's what it looks like. And then you get the colors. I mean, the names on the back. Oh, this is really, really pretty. This is like purple and pink. I can't get over how pretty this is. Oh my God, I can't get over this. That shimmer shade is amazing. So there we go. And they're buildable, so I like that. 
All right, excited about that. Wipe my hands off. All right, and the last one is Orange Pop. And they have other eyeshadow palettes as well if you don't like this type of theme. And again, mirror. Oh, this is really pretty. This is perfect for summer. Look at that. I don't like pressed glitters in palettes, but. Oh my God, that pressed glitter is amazing. The yellow, I'm not too fond for, but I know it's hard to make yellows. Look at that. All right, so that's everything that we got in the Kara's Beauty. I'm really excited for that. All right, then we have this Sephora. Now this is a small one. I ordered something else and that hasn't came in yet. They haven't even shipped it. So that is like two more products that should come in. Okay. So, let's see, where you been? All right. The first thing I got is my birthday little gift. So, if you don't know Sephora, every year you can pick out a few things that they have for your birthday. And I picked out the NARS. So, it's like a little lipstick and a blush. So, I'm happy to get that. Then I got this from Farsali because this was on sale. And this is a lip treatment. And I love stuff like that. So, I'm like, you know what? It's on sale. So, let me grab it. And it's just like a little thingy-majiggy. So I wanted to get that. And then the Sephora had a, a watermelon mask. And this was on sale for like four bucks. So let's see. Oh, this smells like watermelon. I did the Sephora favorites and the milk one didn't smell like watermelon, but, but this did. So it's just like a mask and you just roll it on. All right, and then let's see what I got. So then I got a sample of uh, flat, the Flower Bomb, which smells good. And then I have a night oil for my sample. So that's all I got. I'm waiting for, I ordered the Marc Jacobs bronzer from the coconut um, one. The coconut, uh, what do you call it? I can't think. But the coconut collection from the coconut collection that's forty nine dollars. But I got that when they had the VIB sale, so I did say fifteen percent off on that. So that should be coming. But I didn't want to wait to get that, and you know, because who knows, that hasn't even been shipped yet. And last but not least, I ordered from Elf. Let me tell you why I ordered from Elf. So last month in my Sonya's Diva bag, we got one of those little Elf three dollar eyeshadows, and they were. It was so good for $3. So I went back on the site to order some more because they were so good. And then I happened to like go ham because I haven't ordered from e.l.f. in so long. All right, so let's do that. So I got every single color of the $3 um, ones because like I said, the one that I got was so good. So let me see how many... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so there's eight of them. So I'm gonna go take the plastic off at the same time. Okay, so the first one is Berry Bad. That's really, really pretty. Then we have Truffles. We have Hot Jalapenos. This is really pretty. It's probably one of my favorites. Then we have a Caillou. I don't never know how to pronounce it. I see you, you, I don't know. Then we have Carnival Candy. This is pretty too. And we have Pumpkin Pie, which I would think there'd be like, a, like more of an orangey color in here, but that's pretty. Then we have Rose Water. And last but not least is Cream and Sugar. All right, so I'm really excited. And they're only $3, so I love that. Then I seen this um, Glow Highlighting Palette. And I believe this was $10. That's what she looks like. That's really pretty. I'm going to have to swatch two of them at least. Oh, that's pretty. All right. Yeah. They're not blinding, but they're okay. So we got that. Then I got this eye powder. So, you know, to set your eyes. I got this Calm Balm. So this is hemp infused. This is, you know, like a lip balm. I heard these were really good. So I grabbed just a few of them. I only got how many? Four colors. These are kind of like they say is the dupe for the Stila glitter. So I got a black one, 
I got like a creamy color one, I got a blue one, and then I got a silver one. Because I like to wear like a matte shadow and then put these on top. Then I got the Putty Eye Primer. I got a sponge, I'm always getting a sponge. Um, here is the Solid Sponge Cleaner. This is um, a bullet lipstick. I want to try these. I heard these were pretty good as well. They're the moisturizing. And this is in the shade Ravishing Rose. And then I got the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Now, I have the regular camo concealer, but they came out with the hydrating one. So, that's everything that I got for my e.l.f. All right, I'll put that away later. So, let me know what you think. What do you like about the haul? I don't tend to do a lot of haul unboxings on this channel. And I felt a little weird because of everything going on with the pandemic. But I blame Roma. She's at fault for this. So please rate this video. So give me a thumbs up if you like these type of videos. If you like unboxings, let me know like of my hauls. And that way I'll continue to do them. Give me a thumbs down if you really do, you're not interested in the, in the hauls and the things that I buy. Then I won't put this on our channel any longer. Don't forget to subscribe to the other channel. And that's when I'll do more of a try on with all this stuff and, and kind of review. So that I can see if you like these type of products for yourself or you don't. So you don't waste your money. If you enjoy unboxings, then please consider subscribing to this channel. I would love for you to join our family. And don't forget to turn the post notification bell to all. That way you could be notified for all of our future videos. And that's everything. I will see you in our next video. Bye.